finally, a new season is back, which means that the return of Craig Button in Studio Craig. It is fantastic to have you back. I know you were chomping at the bit uh -huh. to dive into some hot topics. Let's get started with the Leafs. We know they have a new coach. We know they have a new captain. But they have that same core group. As we know, they've struggled when it comes to getting deep playoff success. So with the changes they've made, is this the year they can change their fortunes? I think it is, and, and I think it begins with Coach Craig Berube. Craig Berube is going to have the team play differently, and it's not just come playoff time where the ice shrinks and your time is reduced. It's about this is the way that you're going to have success come playoff time. We know how great they are offensively and how they can produce, but when you get into the playoffs, it's tighter, it's harder. Craig Berube, having won the Stanley Cup in 2019, can instill that, and that'll work through the course of the season with that group so when the playoffs come, they're ready. Austin Matthews is the captain. I think the timing is really, really good because you have a new coach and a new captain, and now they can build that relationship together. I also believe the addition of Chris Tanev. Chris Tanev, whoever he plays with, becomes better because of the support he gives you as a partner. Situations in the game, penalty killing, defensive play, getting out of your zone become better, and ultimately your team becomes better. So Chris Tanev, I think they're deeper. I think they're a little bit bigger. And I think that the team is more mature and ready to understand. Not that they weren't ready to understand. I think that they're at a point now. I saw it with the Red Wings with Fedorov, Lidstrom, and Iserman make that switch, and they did. And that's what the Leafs are yearning for is that playoff success. But I think they're better positioned now. Start of a new season, and Craig Button is optimistic <laughs> yes. around the Leafs. Okay, uh, speaking of playoff success, let's move west a little bit to the Oilers. Obviously, they came just one single win short of winning the Stanley Cup last season, but they added a pair of wingers, Jeff Skinner, Victor Arvidsson, already have a very dangerous lineup. So with all that, in your opinion, are they the team to beat when it comes to winning the Stanley Cup this year? Not with the team is currently constructed, okay. but I have faith that they're going to build out this team, specifically on the blue line. If they want to compete for the Stanley Cup and ultimately get that 16th win that they just fell short of last year, they, the blue line needs to be better. And they made some decisions to give themselves a lot of cap flexibility leading into the trade deadline. And there's going to be opportunities to add really good, solid defenders. They did it with Matthias Ekholm. They added some really good players up front last year as well as in the house. But the blue line has to become stronger. I have faith that they will do that. Connor McDavid doesn't need motivation to score goals or be the leading scorer or win the Hart Trophy. His motivation is solely on winning the Stanley Cup. And a motivated and brilliant Connor McDavid mm -hmm. with the blue line that has improved come playoff time, don't bet against the order. It can be dangerous. We know yeah. how hungry they are. Meanwhile, you'll be back later in the show with James to talk Stanley Cup predictions, a little oh. buttonology. Craig, <laughs> it's great to have you back.